If I could have a drink with anybody living or dead, I would have to say Bob Marley. I would have the ginger highball with him. I, I, I mean, why wouldn't I? It's a delicious drink. He would enjoy it. He loves uh, things from the earth. And we harvest this uh, ginger directly from the earth. And uh, imagine the conversations we'd have. It'd be incredible. I'm Dave Schlum. I'm the founder of Virgil Kane. And today I'm going to be making the ginger highball. Virgil Cane is a company based on a spirit that we created, which is the Virgil Cane Ginger Infused Bourbon. We're based out of Charleston, South Carolina. We wanted to create something that was smooth, delicious, familiar. Bourbon and uh, ginger ale is consumed in the South quite often. So we wanted to take those flavors out of that you know, southern staple, if you will, and infuse it into a whiskey. So I teamed up with a local farmer named John Warren from Spade and Clover Gardens. We buy from John Warren this delicious ginger that's actually super young, so you don't have to peel it. We chop it, we infuse it, we macerate it for about six months, add some vanilla, some lime, and some cinnamon, and that's the bourbon here. So today we're gonna be making the ginger highball. The highball actually originated in New York. Back in the day, when people would order a drink at a bar, they would say, let me get a ball. And that would be a whiskey drink. That would be just whiskey on the rocks. So some Europeans were actually traveling uh, to New York. In Europe, they were drinking brandy and cognac with soda. So that was very popular for them. So when they came to the US and visited this bar in New York, they actually asked about, hey, can I get a ball? But instead of just a regular ball, put that in a taller glass, add some soda, and that's essentially how the highball was born. This cocktail can't be simpler, which I love. Vodka and soda is ridiculously popular in the United States, and I just want people to drink whiskey. So here's a great opportunity for you to get yourself comfortable with whiskey. We're gonna take one and a half ounces of this delicious ginger infused bourbon. We're gonna add just a touch of soda to top it off. and just some fresh squeeze of lime. Mix that to your liking, and your cocktail's done. That's as simple as it gets for a cocktail, and it's my type of cocktail. Enjoy. That's good.